Hello, everybody. This is Mr. LP, Stephen Sykes of Live and Global Media, and we're here in Chesapeake, Virginia with the Hampton Roads Warriors, and, well, Hampton Warriors, I'm sorry, excuse me, and I'm here with Mr. Cheston. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. We got a good game going. We're getting ready for today. What are you looking forward to? Yes, sir. I'm just loving the energy, the excitement of the game, just ready to get up and down the floor. Are you originally from the 757 area? Yes, sir. Born and raised in Chesapeake, Virginia. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. How does the game uh, change for you down in this area than what it used to be? Um, pretty much the same. It hasn't much changed from the type of game that I'm used to playing. Running, uh, gunning up and down the floor. A lot of defensive energy. Just, get, <laughs> just getting after it all, for the whole game, man. And that's what I'm used to. Hey, Amen. What are some of the messages that you're trying to do? Because I see a lot of youth coming to the games and trying to get involved. What type of messages that you trying to convey to the youth? Just to bring the community together, man. Do something positive for the community so we can have a good time, man. It's a lot going on in this world. A lot of bad things going on in this world. So we just try to bring everybody together, have a good time, man. What type of challenges that you had to go through? Uh, how old are you, may I ask? 27. So what type of challenges growing up and you're still a young man as a 27-year-old? What type of challenges that you're facing and you're trying to get used to that you had to change in order to become the better player that you are now? Um, just growing up not having that... that that big brother role, somebody that play that big brother role. And there's someone to beat you down when you're acting yeah, up. Yeah, 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 man. Keep you in check sometimes, man, to show you, show you how to do things in the right way. A lot of our youth don't have that these days. What are some of the things that you could, if any of the kids are listening now, because they all watching highlight reels and they, they got everything going, but if someone, if a, you know, like a 10, 12, 13, 14 year olds listening to you, what is it something that, and they don't have their father and they maybe their mom is working or their mom may be going to got to get a dad. What is a message that you want to tell them? Always think for yourself, man. Always think for yourself. A lot of people going to put things in your ear that may be right, may be wrong. You might believe some of it. You might not. Just think for yourself, man. Learn. Educate yourself. And just stay after it, man. Always stay after it. Hey, Amen. What are you doing eating-wise to stay healthy and keep involved? Because, you know, when you get older, we start gaining weight in the wrong area sometimes. What are you doing besides running? What are you eating? What are you drinking to stay in shape? What's your routine? I've late, recently, I got into a lot of uh, fruits. I haven't recently been good, big on fruits and stuff like that, but fruits and vegetables, I'm trying to get in, in, in my uh, diet a little bit more. <laughs> cut, out, cut out the junk food and stuff like that, man. <laughs> I've grown up on candy. I'm a big candy lover, so I'm trying to cut that out, man. All this water and all this sugar and the yeah. salt in the area, it, it kind of gets you. Yeah. So you try to look to be a vegan, a vegetarian, or you just trying to change up? That might be a stretch, but uh, <laughs> I love me a good burger sometimes, man. But I'm, I'm definitely trying to cut down, though, cut down. Amen. How does it feel seeing your family playing with the game and everything else uh, I love today? It, man. I love it. Bringing everybody out here just to have a good time, like I said, man. Now, there, what kind of role do you play on your team besides the guard, shooting guard, forward? What, you know, what are some of the things you try to bring to the team, your energy, but men mentally, what do you bring to the team? Just to uh, stay focused, remain professional at all times. Sometimes we get into it with the refs, get a couple texts here and there, but just to keep our head in the game. Man. I understand. I understand. Uh, with this team coming up, what's, uh, what's some of the things you're trying to do to this team? Um, defend. Defend. I feel like we got enough manpower on our offensive end. If we defend well, the offense going to come easy. How can the people follow you, keep up, and keep track with you, sir? Um, Instagram, Twitter, any social media. Okay, you, spell, you know the ID is to spell it out for people without everybody went to Sesame Street. <laughs> um, it's, it's cell underscore Ty Crane, C E L underscore T Y C R A N N E. Okay, not and a problem. Ty Crane come from my favorite uh, basketball movie, Coach Carter. Gotcha, <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, what are you doing during the daytime besides we're playing basketball? Um, just trying to, I got nieces and nephews. I have a son, so I'm just trying to stay active with the kids, man, as much as I can. Hey, Amen. I, I heard the buzzer. We got to get you going, but I appreciate you very much for your time, man. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for having me. No problem.